Hey everybody, it's me, Calvin Minson, and today I'll be playing Run, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, Flash game ever made on the levels of Fancy Pants Adventure. Which, if this video gets enough likes, then I will play Fancy Pants Adventure. Like, if this video gets at least over 5 likes, or even over 10 views... I will play Fancy Pants Adventure. Okay. Jump. Jump. I heard that Flash will no longer be working until, like, right after December 2020. Like, right when 2021 happens. Flash will stop working. So, I don't know how people will make online games that you can play on your computer. Probably with some other software very similar to Flash, but I don't know why it won't be supported until... It won't be supported after... After 2020. There's, they have no reason to do it. I mean, it's been around for a long time. But, well, at least we always have actual video game systems, like the Switch, the PS4. I am not going to buy a PS5, because I love the PS4, and they just, the, literally the only thing they did is just make it white instead of black. That is literally the only thing. That's the only change that they've made. So, another Xbox. I've not, I'm not that big of a fan of Xbox, but Nintendo, they are f freaking family friendly. They're an amazing company. They are probably the greatest. They no, they are the video, greatest video game company of all time. And. Uh, Like, they've just stayed as fun platformers, unlike Sonic, who's just staying weird and trying new things. But Nintendo knows what they are, and they haven't changed that much. And they've still kept the same type of style of the game. And it's Mario is definitely the... Well, most well well received gaming franchise of all time, or franchise for that matter. Almost every game that they've made has been met with nothing but praise. That's because it is purely awesome. I mean, you can literally make your own video game with Mario Maker, which I am still figuring out how to turn that into a YouTube video of me playing it, because Mario Maker Two. Like, Matt Pat from Game Theory, he did an entire video on how there's literally not a number for the for how many options for levels there are in Mario Maker 2. I think he said it was, like, something to the 10th power, and it was called a Mario Plex. So there's literally Mario Plex numbers, and of... There's literally not a number for how many levels you can, for how many options you have in creating a level. So it is literally a endless game. It will never end. And only for 60 bucks. That is, that is, it's amazing. Shame. And one thing that I'm really angry about is how they, in Mario Maker 2, the only bad thing that I think is wrong with the game is that they didn't, keep the mystery mushrooms where you can be all sorts of nintendo characters and character in mario in a uh, chevy chevrolet car or hello kitty or so many characters like hundreds of characters if there's an, an amiibo for it you can play as it in mario maker but now in mario maker 2 you can't they should just make it so like the me skins, where if you play enough, or even in story mode, like they did with the Super Mall flower, 
you can just keep playing and you'll eventually unlock it. And you'll eventually unlock a couple of characters that you can put into a mystery mushroom. That is great, but it probably won't happen. They said it was the last major update in the last update video. But in Mario Maker 3, which is hopefully coming out soon, it will be a flagship title on the Nintendo Switch 2, which, that's a whole nother can of worms, but, like, Mario Maker 3 better have the mystery mushrooms. That's literally the only th thing that the Wii U got right, Mario Maker. And the only thing Mario Maker 2 got wrong is coincidentally the only thing the Wii U got right. The mystery mushrooms. But, hmm. And, and as for Sonic, like, um, I'm, they should really make a Super Sonic Maker game. That, w that would be, like, they, if they were even going to make a Mega Man Maker game called Mega Man Universe, it would have a mystery mushroom where you could be other Capcom characters, even like Iron Man, in, in an 8-bit form. That would have been awesome, but for some reason it was cancelled, but. A Super Sonic Maker? That would that would be awesome. That would be a really cool game. And um, one thing that I'm actually pretty excited for is Super Monkey Ball Retro, Retro, because um, Nick Robinson. I don't know if you heard of him, but he's a uh, pretty famous YouTuber. Almost a million subscribers. I he doesn't make videos a lot, but well, he made one about how we found out about an all new Super Monkey Ball game, which is supposed to be retro, and it looks pretty good. It could be one of the only good Super Monkey Ball games, so I'll probably pick it up if it comes to the Switch in like next year. But we haven't heard anything other than that one YouTube video, so it might not even be happening. But it came from the mouth of the guy who does the ready go in the Super Monkey Ball game. So, Um, oh yeah, Mario Movie is in the works at Illumination. Most people know this already, but it's coming 2022 along with The Batman and Jurassic World 3. So 2022 is going to be a good year for movies with just those three alone. So like, the Mario Movie is going to take heavy inspiration from the Mario comic books. And... There's already a Sonic sequel in 2022 as well. So, in video game, there's a Detective Pikachu 2 movie coming, a Mega Man movie coming. There's even a Tetris movie coming, a Minecraft movie starring Steve Carell. There's so many things that they can do. There's so many video game movies coming, like a Nintendo Cinematic Universe where it would end off with Smash Bros. That would be awesome, but that probably won't happen until like 2042. When Mario will be like... Well... Oh yeah, and uh, one thing I'm pretty darn excited for is the... Nintendo uh, Game & Watch remake. It seems pretty cool. I'm definitely asking for it for my birthday this year. And I will not tell him my birthday because... Well... You already know my name. Calvin. My nickname's Elliot. But... My real name is Calvin, so... Hmm. 
right when we beat this level, the video will end. See you in my next video. Bye.